one championship, Singapore Indoor Stadium, Singapore. Hence, uh, the dragon couldn't be on that uh, Bangkok card. Fight one, fight night number eight. Super leg originally should have been taken on a Rotang, um, but it now changed to Williams. Super leg versus Williams on Prime Video. And let's so we work our way top down. Let's do it. Let's do it. And before we do that, Malakin and Buller <laughs> was originally headline in this card, but for some, I don't know exactly how this works, but due to a broadcaster, the fight's no longer on. Now, what's his name? Atkin, Mr. Atkin from SCMP. South China Morning Post, yeah, SCMP. He asked a question, <laughs> and Chachi, some, you know, Chachi's real. He, when he when he's on one, he's on one. And uh, Nick, that's it, Nick. He was like, "Yo, um, so you know, Francis Ungano, you know, he's he's he said on Ariel Hawani, uh, taking it out of context because he didn't actually say that, but." Yeah, that he's uh, seriously considering one championship and uh, and PFL kind of thing. So, like, are we moving this heavyweight bout to the USA card in Colorado? And we're going to have Francis Ngannou uh, sitting sort of uh, ringside. Chachi said, listen, I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't thinking nothing about no Francis Ngannou. Next question, please. <laughs> Ah, so has something happened in regards to a, a potential discussion with one? Or is he just throwing names at Mr. Ngannou? Interesting. But we finally get the cards switched around. Danny Williams coming up in weight, uh, fighting within kickboxing versus uh, Muay Thai, took on uh, Super Leg and Lek even. Flyweight kickboxing world champion. And there's levels, man. There's levels. Uh T mini T it just couldn't get on the inside and put in and put in the work. Um and show his power that he has. Very strike heavy, um, boxing heavy, I should say. Super leg just did the thing, man. He third round. He caught him a few times and stunned him, but took him out with was it a knee head kick kind of thing? Ooh. Um, congratulations to the champ. And he's saying, listen, <laughs> Rotang, you know, we couldn't do the thing here. But my next thing is I want to go and fight in Muay Thai. And I want his belt. I gave him the opportunity to home attack my belt. You know, whatever happened, happens. So let's go and do that, dear. Moving on. Alicia Helen Rodriguez, atom weight Muay Thai world champion, took on Janet Todd, JT Todd, the interim Muay Thai atom weight world champion and at, uh, atom weight kickboxing champion. And Janet Todd was doing real good first round and a half, maybe two rounds. So yeah, two rounds. She was doing good. Using their distance, strikes, etc. Round three came and Alicia said, Okay, you've had your fun now. Okay, you've had your fun. Now I'm gonna take over this thing. And she just put on a a aggressive uh she was using some elbows and stuff. She was on a vibe. Now I've seen JT fight a lot more than I have Alicia due to her pregnancies. And um Obviously, being off was it fifteen months? We need to see her more, uh, compete a lot more frequently, and I'm pretty sure she wants to compete more frequently. That was a real good performance. wasn't absolutely blown away, um, but I think it was a it was a very good performance. I think if we can see her, if we can see her um, again, more free as I say, more frequent bouts. I think we can see a lot more magic come. Unanimous third round decision. Ham came in and sit, showed um, Itzy, it, uh, Itzikua? Itziki? 
I, apologies. Hirata. She showed, Ham showed Hirata, like, look, there's, there's levels to this thing, man. You cannot come into my house <laughs> and think you're going to try and take me down and, and do... Mm -mm. It was... um. It wasn't a mismatch, but like she was very one as she is, to be fair. Again, the higher up in competition you go, this is where we get to. Very one dimensional. She was warned multiple times. Oh, am I am I am I misremembering? Was she not warned for the inactivity? Sure she was. Um yeah. And showed. She, I think they said she's been doing it for 15 years or something like that. She's a veteran. Very tough component, uh, opponent. I think she's number three. First round, TKO, Akhba defeated Oho Takek from South Korea. And uh, it was almost like he shouldn't have even been in there of sorts. Um, crazy KO, featherweight. Um <laughs> it was mad. The fighting, um, the fighting cock, fighting bird, Zhang, unanimous three round decision. Tora Pekshi from Russia, he put in some work, man. He put in some work. Uh, I think the right man won, but he's a very good fighter, very good fighter. And again, we want. I would like to say, Zhang's been pretty fighting rooster. That's it, fighting rooster. He, have you seen him fight comp compete pretty frequently? Not so much of late. I want to see um Tora Beck, Becky, and we, we want to see him more frequently. Most definitely, very. I think he made his debut as well, wasn't it? I'm sure this was his debut fight. Um, Aslan Beck, split decision over. Mr. Bonatello, Botetello, Botello, yeah, catch rate Muay Thai, I think, um, and his eye was bloody swollen pretty bad, man, he got caught in the second round with a, with a shot, um, but he's, he's good, man, very, very good, ah, poor Alex Silva, unanimous decision, victory, I think Keto, Kito Yama Yamakita, he was making his debut as far as I was aware of, well, and he was pretty short, but he's he is well rounded, man. Aggressive, those knees he was throwing whilst he had him on the ground and stuff. That was a real good card. I expected a little bit more from Alex Silver. They were talking about his, you know, he wanted to keep it on the feet, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um didn't really show off, in my opinion, the, the his best striking. No, not at all. But it was a good battle. Tried his best. I think... Hmm, is it age? Because he's been doing it for a fair bit, man. He's been doing it a time for a bit of time. Former champ. Um, and these young guys are coming up, man. They're coming up hungry. They hungry, man. They hungry. Okay, okay. Bonus bouts. I don't understand the concept behind this. Oh, another question. Another thing. Query. Again. Why is the volume so low? It's a little bit better than the Friday, Friday one Friday fights, but the commentator's audio seems to be just a little bit too low versus the crowd noise and all that. I think we really need to sort that out. Nicholas Larson, unfortunately, got knocked out in round number two. Eddie Abasolo from uh, the United States of America. He is good, man. I think this is his second fight. Liam... Liam Harrison, was it? He lost to him in a close split decision or something. Or, yeah. He showed off his skills, man. He looked real good, man. And I want to see him again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My guy is real good. Real good. Now, here's a disappointing one. I'm happy that uh, Iman Barlow won. Obviously, she's from the United Kingdom. Akatrina Van Der Vera. She didn't look her best at all. Well, physically, she looked in tremendous shape. Absolutely tremendous shape, I will add. But her performance, she just couldn't get off what she needed to get off. Um, A little, yeah, a little disappointing. I expected a tough fight because Imam is, she's a good fighter. 
she just took over. Three rounds. I don't think X Train even won a single round. She's so gonna be disappointed with that. But as a fighter, and as as sometimes it just doesn't happen on a day. It just doesn't work. You have good days and you have bad days, and this was clearly a bad day for a uh, Katrina. Uh, the submission here's the country. Here's it starts off controversial straight away. Tammy Mitsumushi, who is almost like a, a mirror image of her her brother, in regards to her mannerisms and stuff. She got warned like how many times for this scooting business, and didn't necessarily have. I mean, the referee didn't call catch at one at any points. It was it was weird. It was weird. Bianca Basilio, Basilio, she should have won that. They should have given, obviously, because there has to be a winner. There wasn't really much going on, but um, at least Bianca had a legitimate a legitimate submission. Was it a, a knee bar or something like that? I don't, I really don't agree with that decision. And I'm interested to see what um, Chatri says about it, because I don't think the right person won. I think the right the right person won in regards to the promotion. You know, they're obviously this is the the champ, the champ's sister. So they want to obviously build her her um, stuff up. But one doesn't normally play play games like that. Weird, 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 weird. But yes, it was a um, another wonderful card, and it was on at eleven p.m. Uh, so I managed to catch it. Real early, and uh, yeah, happy for all, for for the retaining champs. Disappointed for for the for the contenders. Minity didn't have the best performance. He tried, he tried his best, but Super Leg just put in that damn work, man. Congratulations! Like, comment, subscribe, share. Au revoir.